It is time for the feel-good stories that inspire us to shine in Reason to Smile, presented by Creating Smiles Dental. Today, we are very excited to introduce you to a six-year-old girl from Wesley Chapel who is ready to race and not letting anything slow her down. This is Harper Gage. She's a competitive go-kart racer who has just finished her first full season. And look at this. She races, she loves it, and she wins. She won 10 trophies. 10. Very impressive. And when you see her on the track, she is full speed ahead. But what you wouldn't know is that underneath her helmet, Harper struggles with hearing. In fact, she was born with bilateral hearing loss and normally wears hearing devices. But don't think of it as a disadvantage because Harper has proven that she can cross the finish line, inspiring us all to be fearless. And we now welcome right here in our studio, Harper Gage and her parents, Lauren and Thomas. Welcome to you all. Harper, thank you for coming. Thank you for wearing your race suit and bringing your super cool go-kart to our studio. Uh, this is amazing. How, how much fun is it to race a go-kart? Is it super fun? Yeah. Yeah, we can tell. And obviously, you're really, really good at it. What's the best part about racing? Somehow I think it's going fast. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your favorite part? Yeah. Yeah. What do you hear, Mom, when, when, she, when she finishes a race? What does she tell you about how it felt? Um, it depends on how she does. <laughs> uh, when she is first, second, or third, she's always coming off, what place did I get? Um, you know, she looks at her computer to see if her times are getting faster. So it kind of depends on um, mm -hmm. how she did out there. So she's got a competitive streak in her, doesn't oh, she? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, Thomas, how did this all come to be? Whose uh, idea was this to put uh, Harper in a go-kart and I've say, go? I've stuff my whole life, so <laughs> a little bit of everything. And uh, so, of course, we've, we've been doing this for a long time. And then um, we had some family in town when Harper was about three years old, and they wanted to go do something fun. So we went to the go-kart track and raced some go-karts around. And uh, Harper, you know, watched the whole time and loved it. And she's like, I really want to do that. And I'm like, well, I know they make little, little tiny go-karts for little kids to race. So, and um, she kept asking, so we got a chance to try one out for her. And we've been racing it ever since. Lauren, <laughs> a as yep. a fellow mom, I would be like this. <gasps> like yes. a little bit, my little <laughs> six-year-old says, I want to race a go-kart. I would have a little bit of hesitation. Uh -huh. Did you ever? Uh, yes. Um, I was always asking him, like, how... Is she going to be able to hear, or how will that affect her? Does she need to hear them coming up behind her? Um, you know, and then just the fact that she's five in a go-kart. Um, I've gotten better, but I'm still one of the crazy moms on the sideline that yells. <laughs> Don't blame you. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit more about bilateral hearing loss and, and what Harper's gone through? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, she has conductive hearing loss. So she needs a bone anchored hearing aid. Um, so right now they're not implanted, it's just on the headband. Um, she's had that since she was six months old. Um, so there's different types of hearing loss. And um, again, she has the conductive um, bilaterally. So what that means is um, basically something in the middle ear doesn't allow sound from the outer ear to get to the inner ear. So in Harper's case, she's missing her a couple of middle ear bones. Mm. Um, so the, the Baja um, helps get that sound to the middle ear by vibrating the bone on her head. I just thought that was a really cool headband. Yeah. I had yeah. no idea. Yeah, yeah we okay. switched it up quite a bit. So um, yeah. we, we did our research and we got a cochlear Baja and it's been, it's been doing great for her. But mm -hmm. Harper, you don't wear it when you race, you just wear your helmet, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and that's okay? You feel good about it? Yeah. Yeah, you do, because because she can. It's very loud, right? So she can mm -hmm. hear the engines mm -hmm. despite it. Or does yes. she feel the or vibration? Does she feel, yeah, she says she hears the engine in her right ear. Okay. So her own engine is probably what she's hearing. Mm -hmm. I have a question. When you grow up, do you want to race like do NASCAR? Yeah. <laughs> really? Do you have someone that you like to watch, like a grown-up who you like to watch who races? Can you think of anybody? Have you ever heard of a woman named Danica? No. Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> she likes all the girls. Yeah. yeah. She's got plenty of role models, but really, mm -hmm. you are the best role model I have seen I yet. I watch Daddy. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, good answer. <laughs> hey, before we let you go, why do you think she's so darn good at this? 
Um, she's always been determined with ev with whatever she does. Um, <clears throat> so we're really we're really proud of her. She you know has worked really hard to gain her hearing and um, speech. Uh, the goal was to have her mainstreamed in kindergarten, um, and we met that goal. And she is at or above. Well, congratulations, yes. Lauren, mm -hmm. Thomas. Thank you. thank you for joining thank us, Harper. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a big reason to smile today. Can say thank you. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. So welcome. <laughs> Daytime will be right back.